Today, we're going to do a review of a deer call, guys. Thunder Bay calls, guys. We got a couple different kinds of calls we're going to compare it to. So, first things first is... So it's kind of giving you an idea of what kind of sounds you can get for a vocal range on this call. Like most calls, you have different ones, different levels built in. You have the lowest level sound right now. As you go up higher, you get into different types of deer. We're going to move up to the next level on this call, and we're going to try that out. So maybe that's getting into like a younger buck. I really like the different sounds we can make with this. Now I wish we're getting into our dough sounds up here at the higher end. And then we should be able to get into like a fawn sound at the very tippy top of here. This is what a fawn sounds like. I don't know if I like the fawn sound. So let's compare this this call to some other calls that I've used in the past. This right here is a dual ox action call. And let's see here. This one is, we're going to go start with the trophy buck. This is... is That's the monster buck. This one is trophy buck. This is an adult buck. This is a young buck. <laughs> And that again gives you some different buck sounds that th that call can make. So let's play this one back. I'll put it back down to the trophy buck here. Let's see here. I think that's more along the lines of this one here, which is. That's the adult buck. So maybe it doesn't get to a quite as low of a pitch as this one does here. <laughs> but now let's try it up against the uh, flex call. In this one here, you can actually control the volume. You go all the way down. So this one here, you don't have to take it apart and do that. This is the flex call from Frammels. So, but I do like this call. This call is an extremely nice call. It's custom built. <laughs> And it, the most awesome thing that this does is this proves a, a simple point that doesn't matter what you pick up three different calls, it sounds three different ways, and that's good because 
the ten, deer tend to do the same thing. They none of them sound identical. So it stay. I'm glad these don't sound the same. I I think I'm gonna hunt with the uh, Thunder Bay Company's uh, call this year to see how I really get a feel for it when I'm out hunting. But overall, that's three different calls. They're all very good. So next time you're out in the field and you want to try something different, get a hold of Thunder Bay Call Company, have them build you a custom call. And I'll have their information in my comments. And you can go from there. He's a, he makes extremely nice calls. Thank you for watching Co-Outdoors. Until next time, have fun.